Since time immemorial, women have kept men waiting. And Corliss Archer is not going to break tradition for Dexter Franklin. Corliss, are you almost ready? We'll miss the movie. I'll be down in a minute. You said that a half an hour ago. <laughs> you think we can still make the picture? Well, maybe if we hurry. <laughs> Just in time. Bill and Mary are so nice to be with. I certainly enjoyed the evening. Yeah. Probably won't get to sleep. Oh, quite a snack you fixed. Well, for a couple of fellows who weren't very hungry, when Bill ate like a couple of locusts. Uh, I should never have eaten so much before going to bed. I probably won't sleep. I'll probably toss and turn. No, I just can't do it. Mm hmm? Oh, I don't know. I sleep a wink. <laughs> I can't sleep all night. Harry. Twelve thirty. What's the matter? I can't leave the dishes till morning. I'm going down and do them right now. All right, I'll go with you. Maybe if I do something, I'll get tired enough to fall asleep. <laughs> I don't see why I couldn't wait until morning. The minute I closed my eyes, I saw those dishes and I couldn't go to sleep. I guess I'm just that kind of a woman. Well, Janet, you're a slave to housework. You wax and polish and scrub and clean all day, and here it is, 12.30 in the morning, and you're doing dishes. You need help. Well, maybe. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, uh, I mean it. You need help. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Here you are, wearing yourself out, doing everything yourself. Well, if you really feel that way about it, Harry. Oh, oh, thank you, dear. Well, I do feel that way about it, and I'm going to do something about it. Well, that's very nice of you, Harry. I am going to get you a maid. Harry, I don't want a maid. I can take care of my house very well, and a maid is a useless expense. Well, we can afford one, and I'm not going to stand by and see you do all the work. But, Harry... No, it's all settled. <laughs> You're going to have a maid. There's absolutely no need for... Five minutes of one. Isn't it kind of late for Corliss and Dexter to be out? I guess they went to a long movie. Five hours long? Mm. Oh, just wait until I see Dexter. <laughs> Mr. Archer should be angry at Dexter for keeping Corliss out so late. Sleep is important. Without eight hours sleep the night before, a person is logy and cranky and completely inefficient. Of course, that person is not Corliss. It's Mr. Archer. Hey, good night, Corliss. Dexter, aren't huh? you going to kiss me good night? Oh, but it's so late. <laughs> Corliss, you need a shave. Holy cow. Corliss, go in the house. I, I want, want to talk to you. About what? <laughs> about Corliss and these late hours. Holy cow, Mr. Archer. I wish you'd talk to Corliss about keeping me out so late. I need my sleep. No, I will. Good. Yeah, what did you want to talk to me about? Oh, uh, nothing, Dexter. Oh. Well, good night. Good night. <laughs> position for a respectable lawyer. He's used to filing briefs, not being seen in them. <laughs> oh, 
good morning, dear. Did you sleep well? Well, I must have. I slept through a hurricane. <laughs> now, what in the world's going on around here? There must be some logical explanation. Uh, correction, there must be some explanation. Good news, Daddy. Yeah? They invented a substitute for food? Oh, Daddy. Mom's getting a maid tomorrow. I spoke to the employment agency and they're sending me the most wonderful girl. Janet, did I hear you right? You're expecting a maid tomorrow? Yes. She used to work for the Watsons. Who? The Watsons. They're probably the richest people in town. And the agency told me... Now, look, that um, she was just... I know you're both very busy, so I'll get my own breakfast, if I can find some food. There's a loaf of bread in the freezer. Now, wait a minute. If you're expecting a maid tomorrow, then why all this housework today? Well, I can't have her come into a dirty house. <laughs> second stool at Joe's lunchroom. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you to put back the furniture in the living room. We're all through in there. All right, dear. Maybe it'll give me an appetite for breakfast. Your father's a sweetheart. Yeah. Mom, do you think Dexter will be like Daddy? Well, of course, dear. As soon as he settles down and becomes more mature and more responsible, a little more dependable and develops a little understanding. Golly. By that time, we'll be too old to get married. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Archer. Good morning, Dexter, my boy. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you, sir. I knew it. What a fine physical specimen you are. I can, I can just see the muscles rippling underneath that shirt. What strength, what, what power. I don't think I've ever seen a more, more beautifully developed... Yes, thank you, Mr. Archer, but I promised I'd help Mrs. Archer. Oh, well, wait a minute, Dexter. This would be helping Mrs. Archer. And I, I can't move this furniture myself, my back, you know. Well, I, I knew you'd do it. Uh, shall we start with the desk? Yes, sir. <coughs> <coughs> Lift your hand a little higher, Mr. Archer, will you? Just get up here. Try my side. Maybe it's lighter. <laughs> Here we go now. One, two, three. How's that? Dexter, it's fine. Good. Oh. What's the matter? Would you lift it just once more? What for? So I can get my foot out from underneath. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Dexter. <laughs> well, now, uh, the coffee table. Oh. Here we go. It's <laughs> a good game. Now this. Dexter. Yes, sir. Let me out. Anything else you want moved? Yes. What? Me. Oh, under the couch. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Mr. Archer. <laughs> Mr. Archer wasn't cut out to do housework. It's not his fault. He just can't take it. He's not strong enough. He's not rugged enough. After all, that kind of work can only be done by a woman. Mm. Doesn't the house look beautiful? Well, it's lovely. When that maid comes tomorrow, she'll be mighty impressed. Except money. Good evening. Pretty nice suit, huh? My pop bought it for me on the installment plan. No money down on the balance immediately. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Paulie, you look lovely. You'll be the best-looking couple at the dance. 
Have a wonderful time. But don't make it too late. None of this one o'clock stuff. Check. That was that? Uh, after you? <laughs> Accident. I'm sure it was, Dexter. But if you keep having accidents, Dexter, Carlos may change your mind about marrying you. I know. But even though Carlos forgets all about me and marries somebody else and settles down and has six children, I'll still be the one she loves. <laughs> Don't worry, Dexter. I'm sure everything will be all right. Mom? Yes, Carlos? May I wear your yellow organdy? Of course, dear. You sure you don't mind? Of course not, Carlos. But it's brand new. There's only one thing. It may not fit you. It fits. <laughs> Mademoiselle? After you. After you. <laughs> Wonderful to be young and in love. Just look at those two. Why, they're practically walking on air. <laughs> Holy cow, they are walking on air. Wasn't that a wonderful dance? Boy, I'll say. I'm always so proud to go out with you. You're always the prettiest girl. Will you always feel this way about me? Sure. I still feel the same way about you now as I did the first time I met you. Boy, I'll never forget that feeling. My head started buzzing and my heart started pounding and my stomach went round and round and round. And you still feel the same way. Yeah. Only now when I see I don't get sick to my stomach. <laughs> Holy cow! Look what time it is. Come on, we gotta get home. Advance the spark, Corliss. I'll start her up. Give me the screwdriver, will you? <laughs> well, the battery's okay. <laughs> oh, come here for a second, will you? There seems to be enough oil. Look, you hold this. Put your finger right there. I want to try something. but let's go before this thing dies again. Golly, I'm a mess. I must look awful. Oh, Carlos, to me, you always look beautiful. Oh, Dex, you're sweet. Sweet enough to kiss? Sure. How do you like that car preventing Dexter from kissing Corliss? Apparently, that machine's got a mind of its own, but not a very smart mind. Some cars have holes in the hood. This one's got holes in the head. <laughs> oh, it's so late. Golly, Daddy's gonna be furious. He'll decimate me. Decimate? What does that mean? I don't know, but we'll sure find out when he does it to me. <laughs> come on, let's face the music. Oh, no, 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 no,
look. Well, you won't do it. Slave. I mean, we can't, we don't no. Do you think maybe we're taking our bridge a little too seriously? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Perhaps we are. Now, how about some supper? Oh, no. good. I love it. One thirty, and those kids aren't home yet? Well, it was a big dance, and the children probably Dance or up. no dance, this thing's gone far enough. Now, when they get home, I'm going to lay down the law to them. There'll be no more going out and no more dates the rest of the week. All right, Harry. If that's what you think they should do. Well, I think he's right, Janet. This is one problem my parents didn't have with me. Oh, you must have been a very good girl. No, it wasn't that. Bill just didn't have enough money to take me out. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see what I can find for you bridge fiends to eat. Oh, no! How in the world did that happen? <laughs> Who in the world could have done that? Good heavens. What is that? Bear trap? What happened here? Check. Check. Great men parting leave behind them footprints in the sands of time. Dexter's prints are made of carbon, grease and oil and dirt and grime. <laughs> Hi, I'm home. Sorry to be late, but I was held up at the... What's all the fancy clothes for? The new maid is here. Well, that's fine, but... Good evening, Daddy. Oh, dear. Now, what in the world... Good evening. Janet. I want you to meet him. Meet who? Bernadine, the maid. Oh, I'd like to. She's in the kitchen, isn't she? <laughs> Please. Madam, dinner will be served in an hour and a half. Bernadine. This is my husband. Good evening, Bernadine. I hope you'll be very happy with us. We'll see. <laughs> Did she say an hour and a half? Yes. Well, I'm hungry now. So am I. Well, the Watsons never had dinner before eight. Well, I can understand that. If I was married to Mrs. Watson, I wouldn't have much appetite either. But I've got a good-looking <laughs> wife, and I'm hungry now. <laughs> Me too. Come into the dining room. I want you to see how beautifully she set the table. Just the way she set it for the Watsons. She did a beautiful job on the silver, Janet. It positively sparkles. <laughs> I don't want to wait an hour and a half to eat. I want to eat now. I'm starved. So am I. Me too. You know something, Janet? What? I'm famished. <laughs> Janet, this maid is not for us. You will feel better as soon as you have dinner. And I'm sure she's preparing a wonderful meal. It won't be too long. Well... You want to watch some television? I'm too hungry. You go ahead if you want. To. All right. Where's the television set? You know where it is. It's not there. What? It's in Bernadine's room. <laughs> well, the Watsons gave a one. I'm starving. You didn't. <laughs> oh, no, Mom. The goldfish is just hiding. Now, well, wouldn't you in a room full of people this hungry? I'm starving. Janet. I'm sure it won't be long now, dear. I'm starving. 
anything. She has got to go. But Harry... Well, if she treats us this way on the very first night, what's going to happen later when she doesn't even have to worry about making good? But the Watsons... Now I know why the Watsons let her go. Now, Harry... Harry's right, Janet. You better let her go. I think so, too, Janet. Well, all right. Go ahead, Harry. Fire her. Of course she has to go. You go ahead. Tell her she's... <laughs> you tell her. Me? Yes, you're the one who wants her to go. But... Yes? Well, I'm starving. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. What should I be afraid of? I'll fire it. Remember that stuff we used to eat a long time ago? What they used to call it? What did they call it? Oh, yes, I know. Food. <laughs> that. Did you fire? Oh, well, not exactly. What do you mean? Well... Yes? Yeah? I raised her salary. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I got the hiccups. <laughs> he always gets the hiccups when he's very <laughs> Oh, poor Dex. <laughs> Put your head down between your knees. <laughs> I said keep your head down. <laughs> keep your head down. Oh, that won't cure anything. Dexter, hold your breath. That always cures my hiccups. Holding your breath doesn't cure hiccups. The best way is to lie flat on your stomach. I always cured mine by blowing into a paper bag. That always works. Holding your hand above your head does a trick for me. Dexter, you can breathe now. <laughs> hey, they're gone. The only way is to raise your hands above your head and pant like a dog. Go ahead and try it, Dexter. <laughs> I know how to cure it, Dexter Shakeup. Send him into the kitchen after some water. What do you got in mind? We'll see. Dexter, stop panting. Go into the kitchen and drink some water. Okay, Pop. <laughs> Golly, I hope that worked. It's not supposed to. Well, what do you mean? I don't know. Ask your father. Where is Harry? Right here. A towel? Yeah, wet towel. What's with a wet towel? The only sure cure for hiccups is a shot. Now, when Dexter comes through the kitchen door, zowie, and his hiccups will be all gone. You're going to slap Dexter in the face with a wet towel? Well, Corliss, hiccups can be terrible. Believe me, Dexter will be grateful. Come on, Bill. Even better than I thought it would. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, my hiccups are gone. Dinner is served in the kitchen. Uh, first, a brief announcement. Since Dexter was instrumental in helping us get rid of Bernadine, I think he deserves some reward. Your hair. Dexter, I want you and Carlos to go to the movies tonight, and it's my treat. Holy cow, thanks, Mr. Archer. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're wonderful. <laughs> and now, Mrs. Archer, your invitation to dinner is accepted. <laughs> I've got a Look at all these dishes. There must be a thousand of them. Oh, it's late. Can we leave them until morning? Well, no, I can't. We have to do them now. Come on. Oh, do I have to? 
Well, you have an alternative. Oh, yeah? What is it? Another maid. 